Okay, so let's talk about the supplies. In this case, we're going to start with the filters, the dialyzers, okay? So here I have two different filter sizes. So here, this one, and this is how they come. They come in a um, plastic bag like this, and they come sealed. So this is um, a sterile filter that it's in here, okay? So here you will see, let me see if you can see this. Okay, so that is the F160NR. NR is for non reuse, no reuse. And this one is the F180NR. Okay, so the difference between the two is the size. Hopefully you can see the different sizes there. Okay, like this. <laughs> this one. The F-180 is bigger than the F-160, okay? So it's important to note that you will see the expiration date on the, over here, we have the expiration date over here. This one says 8 August 31st, 2020, okay? Obviously, because we are a training center, hopefully you can see that there, because we are a training center, we're using these here, but at your dialysis clinic, you will use one that has not expired. Now, this one is not expired. It's not even opened. If you can see this, it says December 31st, 2021. That's when it expires, okay? So we want to make sure that we're looking at it. We want to make sure that it's not expired. We want to make sure that the label is intact. We want to make sure that there's no cracks, at least for what we see, that it looks clean, that it looks clear. It does have the cap here. When we open it, we will immediately attach those caps to those ports, to this one and to this one. These are the dialysate, dialysate ports, okay? So we need to use one filter per patient. If you end up in a clinic that does reuse, which is very rare now, but if you do end up in a clinic that does reuse, which is the practice of using the same filter for different, for a certain amount of treatments with the same patient, okay, for the same patient, then you will have a different type of label attached to it. it it'll have a label um, that says when it was processed, who processed it, um, all the, did it pass all the tests, etc. Okay, but this is your filter. Now for the line, these are your lines. They come in a package like this, okay? Everything is supposed to come in a package. So to set up your filter, you're going to need, you're, you're going to see your instructor doing the demonstration and then she will give you a filter. She will give you lines. They may not be in this package, okay, because we do reuse our lines here in our filter. So, um, and then you're also going to have a saline bag, okay, a saline bag like this one. It's going to be in a bag as well, okay? But here, maybe you will not be receiving one inside of the bag. I'm showing you how they come. Okay. So for the lines, let me explain the lines. I And I'm going to show you one that is already open so that I don't open this one. So the first line that I want to talk about is the venous line. Remember that during dialysis, we're going to be using two lines. One is called the venous line and the other one is called the arterial line. The venous line is the one that pushes the blood back into the patient, okay? So the lines, both of them, they're both going to have a patient end. And normally you will know that this one is the patient end because it has a big clamp, okay? So this is the part that goes to your patient. And by the way, the venous uh, line is, they always color coded with the blue, with color blue, okay? Then the other end of that line is the filter line. If you notice, this part portion does not have any clamps. So this is the portion that goes attached, that attaches 
to the filter. So for example, if we're using this end, this is where we would attach the line, okay? Now, this line has other features on it. So if we trace, so this is the portion that's coming from the filter. If we trace it all the way here, then you'll see this portion here is called the drip chamber. And it also catches any air that we could have in the system. It catches air. It also can catch um, clots. I'm going to try to put this very close to the, let me see if you can see it, to the camera. Because if you, hopefully you can notice this, but it has like a little strain. That piece in the bottom, it, it looks like a, it's like a strain. Okay. So it does let fluid pass through, but it has those little, those little uh, pores that will hold any clots that would want to pass through there. Because after this, there's nothing else that will stop anything that goes through here that will stop it to reach your patient because this is the patient end, okay? And that's it. So this line is very simple. So again, it has the filter line, the filter end, it has the little drip chamber here, and then this goes all the way to your patient end. Now this drip chamber has some lines, some little ports. So this port over here could be used to re raise the level of the fluid in here or remove air. And then this longer one gets attached to the machine and it will give us the pressure readings. Remember that I was saying that you on the machine, you can see the arterial pressure and the venous pressure. This line is the one that will give us the venous pressure. Okay. So now let's talk about the arterial line. Okay. So now let's talk about the arterial line. The arterial line is a little bit more complex because it have um, a little bit more things, more areas. Um, but I'm going to discuss it again as the venous line. It has a patient end. We know that this is the patient end because it has a clamp. The arterial line is represented with the color red. Okay. With the color red. And this is the, the line that's going to pull the blood out from the patient and into the filter. It also has a filter end. So this portion over here will be attached to the other end of your filter like so. So see? So now let me show you the other features that this line has. So let me start with here. So this is the patient end. If we trace it, has this little this is a little port where nurses can inject medication through here. And also if we want to draw any blood in the middle of the treatment, we could do it through there. Okay. Um, then this portion here, this will be, let me place this one over here. This portion here, this is the attachment for your saline line. So let's pull your saline line. This is what will, what you will use to connect onto your saline bag, okay? This portion. And the saline line is going to have two clamps. You can see some lines that have this type of clamp or the clamp that you close. And then it's going to have another clamp down here, okay? Attached to your saline line, you will also have a port, a little port, and these are ports, additional ports that the nurses can use to give medication. If we continue to go through the line, if we continue to go through the line, then we reach another drip chamber, okay? This will also help us collect any air that we may have on the, in the system. It has a little port, a smaller port like this one, 
It'll help us raise the level of the fluid that's in here, remove air. And then it has this longer port over here, and it, which is for the same thing, for the pressure reading. So again, on the machine where you see that column that says arterial pressure, this is where it's coming from, from this line. Then we have, if I continue to go on tracing it this way, I'm going to let go of this one so that you don't get confused. Then we have this big seg segment over here. This segment is called the blood pump segment. This is the part that goes inside of your blood pump. So if I turn around, this is the part that will go in here. Okay, hopefully you can see that there. This is the part that goes there. Okay, so the blood pump will go through this. And that's why this side, this this segment is thicker because the blood pump will go through this and will move the contents of this line, which is the blood. Okay, it's gonna be moving the blood. And then this longer line over here. Once we're done with the blood with the blood pump segment, this line is for the heparin. This is where we attach the heparin with the syringe. The nurses do this. The nurses draw the heparin attach it to this line and then open the clamp and this goes to the machine and then on the machine we have to set up the rate in which we are going to infuse that heparin and that comes from the doctor's order okay so basically this will end the introduction to the parts of the machine and the introductions of your supply now we're going to pause the video and your instructor will demonstrate the machine setup steps. After she does that, then is going to be your turn. Then is your turn to practice. I'll see you in the next video.